Jones was a man named Robert Milliken, and he was a scientist. In his time, there wasn't a set model of the atom, but it was however known that electrons do exist as the fundamental unit of electricity. But no one knew the independent charge of the electron. Robert Milliken set out to find it. Even though his task was going to be extremely tedious and would probably take up a lot of his time and money, he was determined to achieve his goal. Okay, so here's how it went. He took an atomizer, you know, the little vials with the puffy ball that held women's perfume and smelled like flowers and other things. Well, he took the atomizer and stuck it to a cylinder with a microscope. He measured the terminal velocity of the droplets of oil that he squirted out by using a microscope and some formula. Also inside the cylinder were two plates. One had a hole and one didn't, and they were colorful plates. Milliken wanted to charge the oil droplets, so he ionized the surrounding air in the bottom of the cylinder with x-rays. He then connected the battery to the two plates and adjusted the voltage in them until the electrical field strength they created was strong enough to suspend a tiny droplet of oil. It was then easy to figure out how much of a charge one electron held. We have a little drop of oil, and this drop had a weight, mass times gravity. And when it's suspended, this force is balanced by the pull from the plate, which is equal to its charge times the electrical field strength. After experimenting with this and remeasuring over and over again, Millikan finally concluded that the charge of an electron is equal to, or roughly equal to, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 uh, coulombs. And after coming to this exhausting conclusion, there was much rejoicing. This'll never end, this'll never end, this'll never end, this'll never end, this'll never end.